Hi, my name is Erica Tanda, also known as DJ Switch Ghana. I am very excited to be here to launch the next Women Deliver Conference. I have the opportunity to attend the last Women Deliver Conference and also DJ. It's great to see some familiar faces as well as some new partners. It is so important to have this opportunity to celebrate all the progress we've made, but also acknowledge all the work that still needs to be done to ensure that we have equality for girls and women. And that is how you start a Women Deliver event with the universal language of music bringing us all together again. It's been a while. Thanks, DJ Switch, for setting the mood. We will see you later. Hello, everybody. I'm Femi O.K. I have moderated at two previous Women Deliver conferences, and they're always unique. Today, I'm going to be your MC as we find out where in the world the next Women Deliver conference will be and what you can look forward to at WD 2023. You can watch this event in English, Spanish or French. Just look for Interprefy on your screen to make your selection. The language that I'm speaking right now is fluent South London. Good luck interpreters with that. Thank you for your service. The chat box is live, waiting for your comments and questions and your name, add your name and where you're from so that I can include some of your input later in the program. One last note before we begin. Everything you see in the next 90 minutes is being recorded. So you'll be able to watch it again anytime on YouTube. Time to get started with an official welcome from Kathleen Sherwin, Interim President and CEO of Women Deliver. Hello, Kathleen. Thank you so much to the amazing duo of DJ Switch and Femi Oke. If you remember, we closed the 2019 conference with both of these strong gender equality advocates, and I'm so honored they are back again to help us kick off the road to 2023. So also good morning and good afternoon and good evening to all of you joining from around the globe. I learned we have over 2,000 advocates joining us today from over 150 countries. Thank you for also making 2023 possible from attending the conference to providing ideas for sessions and speakers to ensuring the continued push for a more gender equal world continues locally, regional and globally. Women Deliver will be the world's largest conference on gender equality and the health rights and well-being of girls and women in the 21st century. Women Deliver's convenings catalyze conversations with stakeholders from around the world, breaking barriers, addressing challenges, identifying opportunities to advance gender equality and SRHR and to improve the health, rights and well-being of girls and women in all their intersecting identities. In July 2023, Women Deliver will convene thousands of advocates on site and over 200,000 advocates online from diverse fields, including civil society, government, the private sector, international agencies, alongside women's rights organizations and movements, youth-led and LGBTQI organizations, and advocates representing the intersectional identities of girls, women, and underrepresented populations and LMICs to identify solutions and drive progress for gender equality. Over the next 90 minutes, you'll hear from over 30 members of this global advocacy community who are all taking part in co-creating the next conference, and that is just the beginning. You'll learn more about how the next conference connects with this year's landmark Generation Equality Forum and other key policy windows in our space. You'll also hear how the conference will deliver on a more inclusive, accessible, and diverse space for advocates to be heard, connect, and collaborate. We'll be joined by the W2019 host country, Canada, and also by the 2023 host country. You'll hear from the Women Deliver team, learning more about new conference elements shaped by your feedback from 2019 and the last year of consultations. We'll also hear from early pledge makers who are supporting the conference early with their financial and program support. And you'll also learn about who's serving on the next 2023 advisory group, which is the conference leadership group that will help co-create the next conference. And of course, how to engage in WD 2023 after today. It is a privilege to serve as the interim CEO of Women Deliver, 
and I look forward to passing the baton to the next CEO in the first half of 2022. So stay tuned for that announcement. But in the meantime, I know I speak for all staff at Women Deliver in saying we are absolutely honored to be able to provide a convening space and platform to this community, and especially ensuring we're creating and protecting spaces for civil society dialogue and our feminist movement colleagues. What motivates us is the ambition to take learnings from the COVID pandemic and the new way in which we work together, the necessary global reckoning in our space, WD's own reckoning over the past year and a half, and to bring all those lessons learned together to co-create the largest, the most impactful, and the most transformed space in the feminist community. This space is open to all from grassroots advocates, to the private sector, to government, to young leaders and adolescents, and led by all, ensuring a shifting of power and centering of advocates in all their diversity. The conference belongs to all of us, including all of you tuning in, and we all have a role in shaping it over the next year and a half to achieve the goals that are most pressing for gender equality and girls and women around the world. You'll hear more in this celebration about five new elements that we're working on with you to the road of 2023. First, a hybrid online and in-person conference approach. Two, the conference ties to the Generation Equality Forum. Three, a diverse, accessible, and inclusive platform co-created by all of you. Four, regional convening partners. And finally, five, a global dialogue. By engaging in the next deliver, Women Deliver Conference, Women Deliver hopes that advocates like you will be inspired to take action and harness new knowledge, skills, and connections to achieve their advocacy goals. It is only in partnerships and as a result of the contributions of many that gender equality will be realized. So enjoy this celebration and kickoff, and I'll see you again throughout the program. Back over to you, Femi. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Now, Kathleen told us a lot, but not the location of the next Women Deliver conference. We know that you know, but it's okay. We can wait. Our next three speakers are joining us to talk more about Women Deliver's commitment to the Generation Equality Forum and how Jeff will feature in the next conference. We start with Helen Clark, former Prime Minister of New Zealand, former UNDP Administrator, and a current Women Deliver board member who's so committed. She's joining us from New Zealand in the middle of the night. Good morning, Helen. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone from New Zealand. And on behalf of Women Deliver's board and staff, it's just wonderful to be a part of the soft launch uh, of where our next uh, conference is going to be in 2023 and uh, talk about the preparations around it because it does promise to be Women Deliver's most inclusive, most accessible and diverse conference to date. I should say I've attended four of the conferences over the years. Every one of them has been a buzz. So if it's going to be even buzzier, it's going to be good. Uh, these conferences uh, traditionally bring together advocates from around the world with the aim of galvanizing more action uh, with and for girls and women. And diverse stakeholders come, they make their political and financial commitments, uh, and it's about you know, pushing the improvement of policies and programs to advance gender equality and sexual and reproductive health and rights. I guess uh, each of us has been reflecting on the very hard challenges that racism, colonialism, marginalization, and inequality present globally. And at Women Deliver, we really want to take to heart how we as individuals, staff and board can play a role in helping tackle those challenges as we plan for the next conference. And to that end, we made a firm commitment at the Generation Equality Forum earlier this year. That forum, as so many of you know, marked the 25th anniversary of the Beijing Conference and Platform for Action. It was a multi-generational initiative led by UN Women, uh, the government of France, the government of Mexico, bringing together all sectors to accelerate collective action for bigger and bolder commitments for gender equality in the next five years. Uh, so grounded in advancing gender equality and SRHR, Women Deliver together with seven partners, and they are 
the Adolescent Girls Investment Plan, CREA, Outright Action International, Women Enabled International, the governments of Canada and Denmark, and the Rockefeller Foundation together, we've committed to developing an inclusive, diverse, accessible, and consultative WD 2023 convening, which is co-led and co-created. We committed to a number of goals to ensure that WD 2023 is representative by including uh, youth participation on 100% of conference panels, offering financial support as needed, and providing accessibility services. We will implement an innovative platform in person and online, ensuring that communities which are traditionally underrepresented in global convening do have access to the networking, the skills building, and the funding opportunities that's all part of a Women Deliver conference. The 2023 conference then will prioritize the themes of the Generation Equality Forum Action Coalitions and create spaces for the Alliance for Gender Equality and Universal Health Coverage, the Global Alliance for Care, the Gender, gender Equal Health and Care Workforce Initiative, the SRHR and Climate Justice Coalition, uh, Deliver for Good, and Adolescent Girls Investment Plan to build on efforts begun at the Generation Equality Forum. We see the role of civil society as such a critical part of Generation Equality Forum accountability. Uh, for that, the Women Deliver 2023 conference is a great platform to leverage from because it comes at the midpoint of the five-year Generation Equality Forum framework as we take a stock take on the progress uh, made uh, from that forum and ensure together that the promises made in Mexico and Paris are kept. So we're going to hear from representatives of the Adolescent Girls Investment Plan, Outright Action International and Women Enabled International, three of our Generation Equality Forum commitment partners next on why they joined our commitment for the Generation Equality Forum. Thanks so much and back to you. Thank you, Helen. Hello everyone, I am Pooja, currently working with Adolescent Girls Investment Plan as Youth Engagement Officer. Adolescent Girls Investment Plan or Egypt is a global intergenerational coalition that envisions a world where girls have the voice, choice and agency to determine their own futures. We joined the Women Deliver 2023 conference because we believe that meaningful adolescent and youth engagement is critical to any program or process where their lives and futures will be discussed. Egypt will therefore support and encourage the inclusion of adolescent and youth leaders from the outset in the co-design and co-creation of Women Deliver 2023 conference. Egypt will also help to ensure that safeguarding practices for meaningful inclusion of adolescent and youth leaders are enacted and there are systems in place to support them mentally and emotionally during their participation at the conference. We look forward to working with Women Deliver, our fellow commitment makers and partners to co-design a conference that integrates the perspectives of youth and adolescents at all stages of the process. Thank you. My name is Maria Shade and I'm the Acting Executive Director of Outright Action International. We are a 31-year-old organization fighting for the human rights of LGBTIQ people everywhere with a feminist lens and an intersectional approach. There are still 67 countries that criminalize same-sex relations and many more where LGBTIQ people face discrimination and persecution. LGBTIQ people face gender-based violence in many forms, and to stop it, we must work together with a broader movement. This is why Outright is co-lead of the Generation Equality Forum Action Coalition on Gender-Based Violence. Part of the Women Deliver 2023 commitment is to take stock of progress towards the goals set by the action coalitions and to have dedicated convening space at the conference. 
We joined the Women Deliver 2020 conference commitment because we know inclusion is not something that just happens, but requires a collective vision, planning, and resources. Too often, communities are left out of the conversations about their rights and well-being and are unable to access the global platforms. Women Deliver will be a space where communities traditionally underrepresented in global convenings will lead the conversation and have access to networking, skills building, and funding opportunities. Inclusion at Women Deliver 2023 means co-creating and co-defining the program, prioritizing accessibility, communications, and resourcing, and understanding that an intersectional approach is critical to achieve gender transformative change. We want to ensure that lesbian and bisexual women Trans and intersex people are truly and meaningfully included in the conference and in the work to stop gender-based violence. This is especially important now that we're increasing the hearing calls for exclusion of trans people or voices even from within our own movements calling for a stricter gender binary. We look forward to working with Women Deliver and partners to co-create the most inclusive Women Deliver conference to date. Thank you, and hope to see you in Kigali. My name is Virginia Osana. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the Communications and Programs Advisor at Women Enabled International, or WI for short, which is a nonprofit organization that works to advance human rights at the intersection of gender and disability worldwide. WI is thrilled to be here today with you, and we're looking forward to Women Deliver 2023 to come together with women from around the world in all of their diversity to learn from each other and to strategize together. WI has been working relentlessly over almost the past 10 years to ensure the inclusion of feminists with disabilities within the feminist movement. And we did so at the last Women Deliver, Deliver Conference and also most recently in our role as co-leaders of the Generation Equality Action Coalition of on leadership and feminist movements. We're excited to partner with Women Deliver and other stakeholders to carry through the momentum and the lessons learned from the Generation Equality Forums to Women Deliver 2023 to ensure the meaningful inclusion of persons with disabilities throughout the co-creation process. We're excited to work together to make this happen and to co-create an inclusive and accessible space for us all. Women with disabilities are one in five women worldwide. We cannot afford to leave one fifth of the global population of women behind because in the words of WS founder, Stephanie Ortoleva, women with disabilities, we are women too. Virginia, Maria, Pooja and Helen, thank you. You're going to hear so much gratitude today for the partners, supporters and organizations that make Women Deliver's mission possible. Here's UN Women's Lopa Banerjee looking ahead to WD 2023. Over to you, Lopa. Thank you, Femi, and warm greetings to all those who are joining today. UN Women is delighted to join this soft launch of the Women Deliver 2023 conference. We are proud of our strong partnership with Women Deliver, dating back to over a decade ago, and of our support to the conferences in Copenhagen and Vancouver. Together, we have worked hard to advance our shared goals of realizing gender equality and improving the health and rights of girls and women in all their intersecting identities. UN Women is pleased to join the Women Deliver 2023 Conference Advisory Group to shape inclusive dialogue, foster collaboration, and drive collective action at the conference. As an advisory group member, we are excited to support the conference, which will be one of the many diverse global venues that will continue to galvanize dialogue action and accountability, building from the Generation Equality Forum held in 2021. 
UN Women convened the forum, co-hosted by the governments of Mexico and France, and in partnership with member states, youth, civil society, UN agencies, philanthropies, the private sector, and others. Because we know that accelerating gender equality will only be possible when we engage every sector of society. The forum renewed momentum for gender equality through groundbreaking political and programmatic commitments of $40 billion and launched a five-year journey of action towards irreversible progress to gender equality. We hope the Women Deliver 2023 conference will be a dynamic space to maintain the energy and commitment from the forum. It will be an opportunity to reconvene diverse stakeholders, especially youth and civil society, to identify solutions for girls and women, to continue building on important global and local conversations, and to call for further increases in public and private funding for gender equality. We are grateful to Women Deliver for championing this work with girls and women and for its role in ensuring a more gender equal world. Thank you all and we look forward to seeing you. Greetings from Copenhagen. Denmark is a proud and long-term supporter of Women Deliver. Sexual and reproductive health and rights have improved over the past decades, but challenges remain. The pandemic has made things even more difficult. A few weeks ago, I was in Burkina Faso, a country that has family planning as a national priority, but also a country where cultural barriers and the security situation risk setting back years of progress. I met with many dedicated people. I saw a strong will to make a difference for women and girls. Midwives on motorcycles delivering contraception to women in rural areas. Energetic young volunteers campaigning to break cultural taboos. Clinics where devoted staff threat women and girls for complications related to FGM and unsafe abortions. Truly inspiring. In Denmark, the support for SRHR cuts across all political parties in Parliament. SRHR is also a top priority in Denmark's new strategy for development cooperation. Women and girls' right to decide over their body is in the heart of our global engagement, also in crisis and conflicts. We will continue to lead by example. We co-led the SRHR Action Coalition. We pledged for contraception and sexuality education at the Generation Equality Forum. We lead at the global call to action on gender-based violence. And we are committed to keep the momentum of the Nairobi Summit going. Women Deliver 2023 will be a key moment to take stock of progress to hold stakeholders accountable, including ourselves. Women and girls should not accept anything less than full delivery of promises made. To reach gender equality in all corners of the globe, leaving no one behind. The time is right to act and the world is watching. his expectations for the next Women Deliver conference. Let's take a moment to revisit the largest conference on gender equality and the health, rights and well-being of girls and women ever. If you were there, come closer to the screen. You might just see yourself. This was WD 2019. Inspire the world to harness power. I believe that we 
we should have female role models at every level of power across the world. Bonjour à tous, je viens de France. Nederland, from Sweden, from Armenia. Hello from Kyrgyzstan. We need gender equality and we need this reflected in national priorities. This is a challenge that everyone faces. This is not only you know, women and girls problem. And all of us have to agree that we have a role to play. I'm a woman of color. I'm disabled. The message that I want to send to women across the world is do not let anyone but you define you. You have the right to get angry when somebody is saying they're going to take away your reproductive rights. That's a fundamental right you have. Part of the rights equation is not to stigmatize and stereotype, but to bring to light problems so we all find a solution together. And the business case for a diverse, inclusive world is absolutely proven. I think the private sector has a tremendous role to play in this. Innovation is coming from women just as much as it's coming from men. Investing in women changes generations. The economic resources she earned she put into support of her family. This is a virtuous upward cycle of development. And how do we work together in a way that can drive empowerment for women, but also health for everyone? If we push together, jump together on the same issues in every corner of the world, we will make a positive earthquake. Me Too is a movement that exists within the context of a larger movement that is eons old, right? When you raise your voice enough, loud enough, and consistently enough, it resonates with other voices. Only through true understanding can we develop real and sustainable change that comes from within. Que el femicidio es la punta del iceberg. Eh, debajo del femicidio hay todo un tejido de violencias. We're seeing international and national prioritization of issues bearing fruit. And I think what we're all focused on is how do we find the facts that help us build the programs to help women get there. We have to start thinking with a gender lens when it comes to reskilling, upskilling, and job transitions for both women and men in this future economy. Women power is intimidating for men, actually, and this is why <laughs> men try to hold women back. We will be raising our funding to $1.4 billion annually to support women and girls' health around the world. In Kenya, we shall do everything we can to end female genital mutilation during my term as president. We have to work together because what is at stake is the lives of those young girls. The challenges are large. But I take heart from the fact that ultimately we are all completely unified in our goal to make sure that women have every opportunity that they deserve. It's so simple. No society can succeed without tapping in the talent of all people, men and women. Contrary to public opinion, gender equality is not a new phenomenon. It is the bread and butter of indigenous people and has been for thousands of years. Just imagine what the people in this room can accomplish. You have the opportunity and the platform to affect real change. There's so much power in affecting, um, you, know, you know, change in the lives of others by using our stories and using our experiences. Not without my mama, not without my daughter, not without my sister. Young people are powerful. Women are powerful. I will use my power to create change. Je vais utiliser mon pouvoir pour influencer les jeunes filles de mon communauté afin qu'elles puissent avoir d'abord confiance en elles. I want to use my power to impact more people in Africa and around the world. Future generations. Okay. 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 And now it's time to reveal the location of the WD 2023 conference with the passing of the Women Deliver Arrow to the next country who will be hosting. We begin with Joshua Tubber, Director General, Global Health and Nutrition 
Global Affairs Canada. Hello, Joshua. Hello, Femi. Good day. Hello. I'm delighted to be with you today on behalf of the Government of Canada to pass the arrow to the next host country for the Women Deliver 2023 conference. I'm Director General for Health and Global Nutrition at Global Affairs Canada. And to begin, let's build on that video. Let me take you back in time to June 2019, when the world came together for the Women Deliver Conference in Vancouver, the largest ever convening on gender equality at the time. And as you saw in that video, all in person and crackling with excitement and energy. For us, the event was an opportunity to advance our collective global agenda through partnership, while highlighting Canada's strong commitment to gender equality and the health rights and well being of women and girls both in Canada and internationally. As a conference partner, we provided financial support to Women Deliver and helped build momentum by organizing events around the world to promote participation and engagement. The day before the formal conference kickoff, the Indigenous Women's Pre-Conference, Nutsamat, was held to raise awareness of the resilience and strength of Indigenous women and girls. And then the three-day main conference event was rich, diverse, a highlight was when our ministers of development and gender equality convened 25 ministers, eight indigenous leaders from Canada and 25 youth leaders for an open and honest dialogue on the barriers to gender equality and the key issues affecting the health rights and well-being of adolescent girls. Women Deliver Mobilization Canada engaged the participation of more than 100 domestic women's organizations from coast to coast to coast here. But the conference itself was truly a global conversation. It brought over 8,000 attendees from 169 countries, and it offered some level of sponsorship to 32% of those. It also ensured a place for young people at the table, as 20% of the participants were under the age of 30. Key commitments were made then that continue to resonate today. Canada's Prime Minister announced a 10-year, $1.4 billion annual commitment to global health that includes $700 million a year for sexual reproductive health and rights, a major scale-up. And in addition, Canada committed $300 million to establish the Equality Fund, helping to build the largest self-sustaining fund for gender equality in the world. President Kenyatta committed to ending female genital mutilation by 2022 and to ending child marriage. The UN Foundation announced commitments from 10 companies to improve the health and empowerment of more than 250,000 women workers and community members. At the Gender Inve Smart Investing Summit, Nearly 200 top innovators representing trillions of dollars in assets address bottlenecks that slow the deployment of capital to projects and companies that champion gender equality. And finally, the SDG Gender Index was launched by Equal Measures 2030. As many have said, since 2019, that momentum has continued. And as a government, the event served as a springboard for us to push forward our feminist international assistance policy. And we've used that and then built on the global momentum that's been reinforced through initiatives like the Gender Equality Forum meetings in Mexico and Paris this year. And as we organize ourselves for Women Deliver 2023, let's keep mutual accountability front and center, using the multi-stakeholder platform and vast reach of a Women Deliver conference to hold us all to account and to continue to drive our collective progress forward. Canada will continue to champion Women Deliver, and we're proud to serve on the 2023 Conference Advisory Committee. And I now have the very special privilege of announcing the next host country for Women Deliver 2023. I'm absolutely honored to now pass the arrow. Honourable Minister. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings from Sigari, Rwanda. Please allow me to start by thanking the Government of Canada and Mr. Joshua Taba for passing the leadership arrow to the Government of Rwanda to host the Women Deliver 20, 2023 conference. My name is Janette Vaisenge. I'm the Minister of Gender and Family Promotion. For the very first time, the Women Deliver conference will be held on the African continent. 
It is an honor for Rwanda to be the next host of this convening as it affirms that the ongoing effort in the country around gender equality by the government of Rwanda are gaining the desired traction. We believe that the gender equality will not only be achieved once all people have equal access to power, dignity, rights, health, and opportunities that would enable them to network, develop skills, share knowledge, access funding opportunities, and participate in conversation that contribute to the global agenda setting on gender equality. The vote of confidence to host Women Deliver 2023 in Rwanda also aligns with our country's vision to establish Rwanda as preferred event hub on the African continent, especially event with impact. It is my honor to have been designated as the chair of the conference committee, and I look forward to establishing not just a city, a country, but the region approach to supporting women deliver 2023. The government of Rwanda wishes to ensure the hallmark of his administration, including peace and reconciliation, women's empowerment, promotion of investment, entrepreneurship, including for young people and women, all of which will be exemplified both virtually and on site at the Women Deliver 2023. We acknowledge that, that the Women Deliver conferences are an opportunity to continue to make progress on gender equality promotion and to work together locally, regionally, and globally to make that a reality. And that begins today as we launch the Women Deliver 2023 and start the drumbeat to, to Women Deliver 2023 to be hosted from July 17th to 20th in Ichigari. Under the leadership of His Excellency President Paul Kagame, a he for she champion, we will continue to work on commitment we made at the Generation Equality to bridge the gender digital divide by increasing ownership of smartphones, access to, to digital financial services, etc. I truly hope that we can all work together locally regionally and globally to align and build momentum and deliver results which will impact the lives of everyone, most girls and women everywhere. And I know we can do it. Catherine, the interim president of Women Deliver and I have already be begun a series of productive conversations about how we may fulfill the promise, the impact, the legacy, of Women Deliver Conference. We are excited and honored to host Women Deliver 2023 and look forward to seeing you all in Ichigari in 2023. Thank you all for joining us today and let's keep the momentum for 2023. We look forward to welcoming you to Remarkable Rwanda in 2023. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Joshua. As I have you both together here, the previous Women Deliver venue, the next Women Deliver conference venue, I would love to know, Joshua, what advice would you give the Minister 18 months before WD 2023? Minister, I think being ready to start now is exactly the right attitude. And so build your team and make sure they have the space to be creative, to be innovative, and to have lots of fun because it's such a great event. Uh, it is a lot to take on though. And I think the single biggest piece of advice we could say is build your team internally, but then build that big multi-stakeholder team externally as well. You need to engage CSOs and youth right from the beginning because you're going to want to capitalize on their energy, help use their momentum to make sure that this is a successful event. Uh, there's more than enough work for everyone and getting that energy as high as possible over the next 18 months will be critical to have a really successful global convening. Minister Vaisinghe, I, I, I'm wondering here, it's such a huge conference. There's so much in this conference, both for Kigali, for Rwanda, around the world. Why? Why do you think that this will work out so well for Rwanda? Um, thank you very much. Uh, it's very important for many reasons. 
uh, that it will work for Rwanda. Uh, but considering the time we have, I will just say two reasons. The first one is that uh, Rwanda ranked seven in closing gender gaps, according to the World Economic Forum report of 2021. We have achieved considerable milestone on gender equality, but we remain committed to learn more and do more with support of our collaboration with regional international partners and friends. We believe that the conference will stimulate conversations and propose solutions in African communities, which will challenge traditional norms for better inclusive society. Second, Rwanda is an incredible destination that everyone has to visit at least once in a lifetime, as the hash hashtag says, visit Rwanda. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of your government will be very happy that you told us, uh, told us that. One last thing, and, and, and we cannot help but, but think about this, is the world right now is very different from the world in 2019. Joshua, we, we saw that recap video of WD 2019. We're hugging, we're all together, group photographs. Now, we're really cautious about how close we can be to each other, how do we convene together. What are your thoughts about the importance of a Women Deliver 2023 conference when we are right now not seeing the end of the pandemic that we're in? Joshua, you start, the minister, you wrap us up with that same thought. Femi, I think hugs are coming back and I think they're coming back strong next year. So I think the world will again be a different place by the time we get to the conference. But either way, we've learned about how powerful these virtual and digital models can be for convening. We can bring people together from every corner of the globe. And so I think we can't lose sight of the potential for innovation and making sure that the conference is more inclusive than ever, while hopefully at the same time having a global health situation that allows those hugs to come together on the conference floor once again. Mm -hmm. And Minister. Um, I think the current times while we're still fighting COVID-19, which affected, of course, everyone, but mostly women and girls, is very important to us. Holding such event will be an opportunity to revisit the recent data we have on gender, discuss on the exacerbated gaps, and recommit to build better our society. Thank you so much, Minister Baisenge and Joshua Taber. Thank you for joining us. The arrow has been passed from the Global North to the Global South. Women Deliver conferences always build on the conference that's gone before. So just when you think, how are they going to top that? Another one comes around and it does. So what can you expect from the Rwanda conference? I know just the person to ask. Hello everyone, I'm Gretchen Gasteyer, manager on the conference and convenings team at Women Deliver. It is my pleasure to be here with you today on this exciting day to share more about the new program elements during WD 2023 and the Global Dialogue. In August through October 2020, Women Deliver conducted a public survey and held focus groups to better understand what people hope to see in the next conference. We heard from 4,480 people from 166 countries. I'd now like to share some of the highlights that we learned. In-person convenings are important for networking and connecting, and, but virtual options can often be more inclusive. Participants would like to see a connective thread and continued momentum between policy moments such as Generation Equality Forum and moments for accountability. They would like to see the conference have tangible policy goals and outcomes. We want to center advocates, especially those from grassroots organizations and from lower and middle income countries. They want to emphasize skills building, regional networking, and connecting advocates with decision makers. And finally, accessibility and inclusion should be prioritized through all of our programming. We took what we learned during the global community consultation and made these five commitments to the conference program. First, the conference will be a hybrid convening with an integrated virtual conference program so that those who can't travel to Kigali or be with us in person can still participate in the dialogue and the program. Women Deliver will equip advocates with the skills they need to take action before, during, and after the conference 
via an expanded six-month Global Dialogue launched in January 2023. The Global Dialogue will include virtual webinars and workshops, satellite events will be held in local communities around the world, and any organization or advocate dedicated to gender equality is welcome to host an event. For the first time, we will work with regional convening partners to mobilize and convene advocates in their respective regions as part of the Global Dialogue. As Women Deliver 2023 is a global conference, we know it's important for advocates to be able to connect with others within their own regional context where they can coordinate on collective action. We will also create dedicated advocacy spaces for Generation Equality Forum, for coalitions and commitment makers to convene, catalyze for political change, investments, action, and accountability. And through all our programming, accessibility and inclusion will be prioritized. This means we will work with accessibility experts to ensure that the conference space is physically accessible, virtual programming is available to those in low bandwidth settings, interpretation will be offered in English, French, and Spanish, as well as closed captioning. And at least 25% of participants will receive financial support to participate in the conference. Mental health services, including those with child safeguarding expertise, will be available during the conference. And 100% of panels will include speakers from low and middle income countries, as well as youth, those under 30. I invite you to learn more about the new conference elements and to read the Global Community Consultation Report at wd2023.org. I look forward to seeing you all either in Kigali or virtually. Thank you, Gretchen. That is a lot to take in. But what I heard very clearly is that there are going to be so many ways for more voices to be heard and participate in WD 2023. Regional partners are going to be key to bringing the Women Deliver conference experience to you, even if you can't travel to Rwanda. We head to Colombia and South Africa next to meet the first two regional convening partners to sign up. Hello, my name is Diana Rodriguez, and I am the Secretary for Women's Affairs for the City of Bogota. First of all, I would like to greet my fellow distinguished guests and everyone who is joining us on this very exciting day as we launch the Women Deliver 2023 conference. It is my honor to represent the Mayor of Bogota, Claudia Lopez, who serves as the chair for the Regional Committee for Latin America and the Caribbean. As part of the global dialogue, regional covenant partners will mobilize and convene advocates within their region to advance the conversations around gender equality before, during, and after the conference. As Women Deliver 2023 is a global event, we know it is important for advocates to share progress, exchange ideas, and request feedback within their own regional context. We will kick off the global dialogue and regional programming in January of 2023, six months prior to the co convening at the Women Deliver Conference. At Bogota's local government, we are committed to improving the lives of girls and women in our city and country and look forward to advancing important conversations in the region around gender equality. Women Deliver 2023 and the Global Dialogue is a unique opportunity for Latin America and the Caribbean region to showcase the work, the solutions, the innovations, and the policies that are making a difference in the lives of girls and of women. The pandemic has taken a great toll on all of us, and women in particular have been on the front lines of caring for those at home while also facing economic uncertainty. More than half of women in Latin America work in informal jobs or in jobs that were disproportionately affected during the pandemic at higher frequencies than men. We need to address the growing gender imbalance of poverty. We need to reduce gender-based violence and increase access to justice, especially for indigenous and Afro-Colombian women who have been disproportionately affected by violence. And we need to have a cultural shift away from machismo and to a culture where women feel empowered. 
While there is much work to do, we are also making great progress. In Bogota, we have implemented the CARE system, a new strategy to reduce and redistribute the burden of care faced by women. Our city development plan incorporates a cross-cutting approach to ensure that all policies and programs take gender into account. And to combat the increase in domestic violence during the pandemic, we strengthen online and telephone channels to provide counseling and legal and psychological assistance. We are looking forward to working with stakeholders in the region and reaching out to partners across sectors and issue areas, including those who may be unlikely allies. It will take us all working together to achieve gender equality. Bogota pledges to be a leader in this process. I hope that those of you in the region will join us during the global dialogue as we work together to improve the lives of girls and women in Latin America and the Caribbean. I am Maite Nguana Mashavani, and I speak in my capacity as the Minister of the Presidency for Women, Youth, and Persons with Disabilities in the Republic of South Africa. I'm honored to be a part of the, the launch uh, of the next Women Deliver Conference in Kigali. On behalf of South Africa, we are excited to serve as a regional leader for Women Deliver 2023 and the Global Dialogue. I am uh, equally honored to serve as the chair of the regional committee here in the Southern Africa. One of the greatest uh, regresses we will witness in the millions is the millions of women uh, globally who will fall into extreme poverty while their work at while they work at home uh, intensifies. Therefore, accelerating gender equality is a matter of urgency. The Generation Equality Forum provides an opportunity for the strengthening of global solidarity to drive an intersectional and inclusive agenda to gender equality. It is for this reason that South African government has made 12 bold commitments at the Generation Equality Forum. The realization of this uh, bold commitment requires the political and the financial uh, will of government and other key stakeholders in promoting quality and inclusive decision-making policies, developments, and in enacting laws and policies, planning and implementation of gender transformation, tra transformative programs. South Africa is committed to being a global leader in accelerating gender equality by 2026. I have been hanging out in the chat. It's wild in there. You guys are having a party, celebrating Rwanda, congratulating Rwanda. Yes, women deliver, coming to the African continent. Keep going and remember, we're also able to answer your questions. We've got good questions. They may well end up being as part of this event. All right, I'm just checking up on you. How is your stamina holding up? Let's take a break with some beautiful performance poetry that looks as gorgeous as it sounds. I am going to let the artist introduce herself. Hello. Hi, my name is Zuhura Sengenge, artistically known as the African Lioness. I'm an international poet, storyteller, singer-songwriter, and creative from Tanzania, East Africa. And I am excited to share this art piece with you created in partnership with CREATE 2030. It's an easy thing to say, to say, I want change, until change meets you, and you learn how you were never prepared. We were never prepared. 
When it came, we wondered what will happen to those dreams, those beautifully dreamt dreams. And as doubt slowly crept, we tried to fight the shift. But the more we tried, the more it took shape. This unstoppable force, change we had to face. And as soon as we allowed ourselves to meet its might embrace, we realized it was the very thing we needed. We have learned today, for every growth there must be change, that to grow you need to heal, to heal you need time, to mend what you didn't know was broken, where the fractures didn't show. We needed to sleep to learn to be awake for the fight, to redream, to lead, to rise and to thrive, from being lost to being found, like an arrow's flight from dark to light. And as we step into the sun, soaking in the shine for women and girls, together as one, we feel a flame of strength burning so bright to light a thousand candles of hope for equal and fair rights for all, the girls and women as whole. So join us as we march forth to the future, shaping the world into a perfect picture. Join us as we march forth to the future, painting the world into a perfect picture. Beautiful voice and poetry is Sora Senenge, the African lioness. It takes a village to create a Women Deliver conference. Behind the scenes, the advisory group plays an important role. Let's find out more. Thank you, Femi. Hello, my name is Vivian Matthew and I'm the Director for Policy and Advocacy at Women Deliver. It is my honor to announce the members of the Women Deliver 2023 Advisory Group. The Advisory Group, also known as the AG, consists of over 30 organizations from civil society, philanthropy, governments, UN agencies, the media, as well as Women Deliver Young Leaders. They're based in all major geographic regions on the world. Women Deliver is committed to a more consultative and inclusive process for delivery developing the Women Deliver 2023 conference. For the first time, Women Deliver selected one third of the advisory group members via an open application process. We're so happy that the AG consists of the leaders from all six generation equality forum action coalitions, further ensuring the linkage between these two important convenings. 60% of our AG members live in or work for organizations based in lower and middle income countries. The mission of the AG is to provide strategic advice and inputs on the development and the implementation of the conference and global dialogue by co-creating the conference's themes, design and programming. The AG will begin working in December and January and will gather initial input on the conference's goals and themes. We're thrilled to work with the AG in co-creating the conference and the global dialogue, and are confident that they will ensure that Women Deliver 2023 is an inclusive, diverse, accessible, and consultative conference. We will now hear remarks from some of our AG members on their priorities for the conference and why they joined the advisory group. The past two years have been heavy for just about all of us. From the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on our mental, physical, and emotional health, to its hindrance on the progress towards attaining gender equality, to the many revelations that rocked us while the world was at a standstill, it has been quite a journey. 
In the United Mission to Achieve Gender Equality, I wish to remind young leaders of how incredibly valuable your work is. Whether you work with a group of 10 at the grassroots level, teaching about comprehensive sexuality, or you provide menstrual hygiene support to girls in your country, or maybe you advocate for policy change at the highest level, your work is valid and of equal importance. Don't ever underestimate the positive impact your work has on our current and future generations. While it is easy for us to outline and articulate issues stemming from patriarchy, colonialism, discrimination, inequality, and systemic oppression, we should always remember that it starts with us and great change can result when we face our own biases. There is a noticeable need to engage young people in all levels of decision-making and leadership. My vision for the Women Deliver Conference 2023 is one where young people's competencies are valued, young leaders from marginalized populations within the global North and South can raise their voices and be heard, and where the power is shared and realized across varying levels of physical ability, expertise, sexual orientation, and gender identity. Lastly, the convening should serve as a space for intergenerational dialogue to acknowledge wins and map out the next few years of gender advocacy. Stephen Covey once said, the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. And for us, the main thing is championing gender equality and the health and rights of girls and women worldwide. My name is Zander Daisy from the island of St. Lucia, Young Leader Alumni Class of 2018 and member of the advisory group. And I hope to see you in Kigali, Rwanda in 2023. Hello, my name is Sakina Razik and I'm a program associate at CREA. CREA is a Southern-led international feminist human rights organization working towards strengthening feminist leadership and movements, challenging unjust power structures, and expanding sexual and reproductive freedoms. We work to hold open civic space and advance the human rights of structurally excluded people. CREA is also part of the Generation Equality Forum process as a civil society co-lead to the Action Coalition on Feminist Movements and Leadership. Our collective vision is that by 2026, feminist leaders, movements and organizations, including those led by trans, intersex and non-binary people, indigenous women, young feminists and other historically excluded people are supported to become sustainable, can carry out their work without fear of reprisal and advance gender equality, peace and human rights for all. Women Deliver 2023 and the Global Dialogue is an opportunity to create a platform where these leaders, advocates and organizations can convene, share, coordinate collective action and build strong movements. And we are pleased to join the Women Deliver 2023 advisory group and be a part of shaping this space. We hope to influence it to become more intergenerational and radical. That is why I'm pleased to be the one to share CREA's goals with you today, because we believe in rethinking whose voices are heard in these spaces, including those of younger activists. As a member of the advisory group, CREA wants to bring in our practice of being intersectional and inclusive, centering gender, sexuality, accessibility and rights. We will work to amplify the voices and visibility of people who are too often excluded from meaningfully and effectively participating in their communities, other platforms and decision-making spaces. We are excited to work together with our fellow advisory group members to co-create Women Deliver 2023 and the Global Dialogue. We hope to see you in Kigali, in person or virtually. Thank you. Je m'appelle Sapio Tudio, je suis la présidente du réseau Sikitigel et co-leader avec Energy for Impact pour la coalition euh, du Sénégal euh, sur la campagne Deliver for Good. C'est vraiment un honneur pour nous de participer à, au lancement de la conférence euh, mondiale euh, Women Deliver. Euh, 2023 et donc euh, rejoindre le comité directeur de la conférence mondiale est une occasion euh, à la fois excitante et privilégiée pour nous et nous veillerons à ce que le leadership des femmes et des filles africaines puisse figurer en tête et au centre de la planification 
uh, et de la programmation de cette conférence. Pour euh, la toute première fois, une conférence de Liverpool Good se tiendra en Afrique à Kigali, au Rwanda. Et donc nous saisissons cette opportunité euh, pour porter la voix des féministes africaines et renforcer notre mouvement régional et mondial en faveur de l'égalité entre les hommes et les femmes dans l'ensemble des ODD, mais aussi à stimuler les investissements sur l'éducation des filles, sur la santé de la reproduction et sur les énergies renouvelables, et particulièrement en Afrique. Cette conférence est aussi euh, euh, un espace charnière qui nous permettra de renforcer davantage la cohésion et la cohérence de nos politiques dans les différents domaines d'intervention. Nous attendons de créer les conditions d'une conférence dynamique et diverse qui prend appui sur l'impulsion du Forum Génération Égalité et qui renforce la mise en œuvre et qui facilite aussi les relations entre partenaires, secteurs et parties prenantes pour le bénéfice euh, du plaidoyer collectif en faveur de l'égalité entre les hommes et les femmes. I'm Raj Kumar, president and editor in chief of DevEx, and I'm delighted to add my voice to the celebration today as we look forward to this great moment in 2023 when we all gather in Kigali to celebrate and amplify the key issues that Women Deliver works on every day. We're just delighted to be a part of this, to be an official media partner for the event, which means we'll be there in Kigali, we'll have an on-site studio, we'll be conducting interviews and meetings with many of the commitment makers and leaders who will come through the conference. And we'll be there in the lead up to Kigali, bringing you many of these stories virtually to our global audience and to the many people who won't make it to Rwanda in person, but will be a part of this important global convening. DevEx has been a part of Women Deliver for many years now, and the, the stories that we cover every day, regardless of sector, often touch on these key issues of the health and rights of women and girls. We learn a lot from being a part of this. I think our journalism benefits, and we're there to help bring an independent voice and hopefully some accountability to some of the issues that will be discussed in Kigali. Really happy to hear that Women Deliver is again bringing forward a scholarship that's gonna allow journalists from low and middle income countries to cover and participate in this conference once again, and that there's such a diversity of voices who are part of this session this year uh, in Kigali. My colleague, Margaret Richardson, will represent DevEx on the advisory committee for Women Deliver 2023, and will be a part of the lead up to the event in person, covering these issues, amplifying them, and really bringing to our global audience key stories that are relevant for the Women Deliver community. Thank you and congratulations and see many of you in Kigali. Hello, I'm excited to be with you all as we launch Women Deliver 2023. My name is Neha Minkani and I'm a strategic advisor at Amplify Change. Amplify Change funds small civil society organizations working on Section and Reproductive Health and Rights, particularly those in lower and middle income countries. We are proud to play a role in supporting grassroots organizations making real change in their community. The global pandemic has further exposed the structural inequalities faced by girls and women, both at work and at home, including increases in gender-based violence, early childhood forced marriages, and reduced access to sexual and reproductive health services all around. Amplify Change has supported civil society organizations to address these challenges in their communities during COVID. And as we move towards recovery, we need to ensure girls and women continue to be the center of all our work and conversations. We're excited to join the Women Deliver 2023 Conference Advisory Group to ensure that voices from the ground are heard and we can build on all the important lessons we have learned from the advocacy work of our grantees as we engage in dialogue during this important policy window. We look forward to working with Women Deliver, our fellow advisory group members, and all of you to co create the Women Deliver 2023 that sparks action for girls and women, an investment in feminist civil society, and moves us closer to full attainment of sexual and reproductive health and rights for all. Thank you. Hello to my fellow speakers and to everyone participating from around the world. I'm Bettina Baldeski and I'm the CEO of the International Women's Development Agency and I'm joining you from the land of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. IWDA is an Australian-based organisation resourcing diverse women's rights organisations across Asia and the Pacific. We exist to defend and advance the rights of diverse women and girls in pursuit of our vision, gender equality for all. We are so pleased 
to be joining the Women Deliver 2023 advisory group and contribute a voice from this region, from Asia Pacific, to this important dialogue. As part of the advisory group, we want to see Women Deliver 2023 achieve its ambition to be the most inclusive event it can be, to contribute to build a movement for gender equality with diverse constituencies acting in solidarity, and also to play its part in proving the resource base for gender equality, not just growing quantity of funds, but growing quality of funds. To support the achievement of these aims, AWDA is bringing to its advisory group our absolute commitment to feminist ways of working, a practice of naming and navigating power to ensure full and safe participation for all. We also bring deep experience and past practice in global organizing and a wealth of lessons to guide planning and organizing for the 2023 conference. And finally, we will seek to use our locational power to involve decision makers in our sphere of influence to come on this journey. We have the opportunity to make real lasting change for girls and women and to hold ourselves accountable. We hope you will join us to create a more gender equal world. Thank you. Hello to my fellow speakers and to all who are participating from around the world. I'm Nolina Bolivo. I'm the Executive Director of Diverse Voices and Action for Equality, or many know us as Diva for Equality. And we're a 10-year-old feminist uh, collective and constituency network. We work out of Fiji, but we work really across all Pacific small island states and territories, um, and what we call large ocean states as well. Um, and we work on a range of issues, everything from sexual orientation and gender identity and expression and sex characteristics and the rights associated with those, through to sexual and reproductive health and rights and justice, SRHR and justice. We also work on issues of um, economic justice, particularly looking at decolonizing um, economics and feminist approaches to economics. And we work on um, ecological and climate justice. We're also interested in how all of those sets of work um, intersect and interlinked uh, and interlink with each other. Uh, Diva for Equality is a generation equality forum um, action coalition lead, that's a mouthful, um, for the Feminist Action for Climate Justice, a five-year set of work um, that we're doing with many others around the world to try and make sure that we escalate and deepen um, the work for climate justice. So the Pacific region, as you all know, is um, really at the forefront of the climate and ecological um, emergency, but we're also um, at the forefront of innovations and strategies to address um, the multiple crises in which we all find ourselves now. The world really is nearing, and many would argue is already past um, many of the major climate and ecological tipping points. Um, and this is really worrying, and, and we have to uh, make sure that we, we're working together on these issues. It'll take really um, the work of linked um, social movements all around the world to, um, to catalyze the action that's required in so many different sets of work, whether it's mitigation, adaptation, loss and damage particularly, um, and climate finance and many, many other sets of issues. Um, and we're doing the work that we can, but we have to be in solidarious action um, with everyone around the world. So we're really pleased to join um, the advisory group to create Women Deliver uh, 2023 and the global dialogue at, at this critical time for all of us in the world. Thank you, Nolene, and welcome aboard advisory group members. July 17 to the 20th, 2023, Kigali, Rwanda, save the dates. And if you're thinking about becoming a partner, it's not too early. There are plenty of ways for sponsors to get involved right now. Here's Christine Hedner, Women Delivers Board Chair. Thank you, Femi. On behalf of Women Delivers Board of Directors and staff, I would like to thank our early pledge partners. As others have shared, Women Deliver is deeply committed to making Women Deliver 2023 an inclusive, diverse, and accessible convening led and created with partners. In order to make that a reality, we need investment. For example, we need investment in an online platform that is user-friendly 
and provides for low bandwidth settings for advocates around the world. Investment in accessibility measures like translation and interpretation, closed captioning, child safeguarding, and mental health services. Investment in scholarships. 30% of all attendees receive some sort of financial assistance from full scholarships to technology stipends, and not the least, seed funding to ensure the regional convening partners can begin to form multi-sectoral host committees. Thanks to early funding and investment pledges from partners, Women Deliver has been able to plan in earnest for a conference that really embodies the vision we have heard today. So please let me take a minute to recognize. Procter & Gamble and Organon as our top visionary sponsors. Visionary sponsors not only provide top level support for the conference, but also support Women Deliver programs. Also, we want to thank at the private sector supporter level, Merck Serrano. At the NGO champion level, FHI 360. At the NGO leader level, the Center for Reproductive Rights, Plan International, Pathfinder at the NGO supporter level, Equality Now and Gender Health, and at the NGO advocate level, IPAS, Landesa, ODI, Women for Women International. We are also extremely grateful for conference support from the government of Denmark. Thank you, Denmark. Denmark has been a catalytic funder to Women Deliver Conference throughout the years and to Women Deliver programs. Today, I ask you to consider joining our early pledge partners in making a pledge to Women Deliver 2023 conference. Your pledge is trust-based and can be fulfilled at any point before the conference in July of 2023. So it is flexible for partners, but it means a great deal to us to be able to make the big and bold plans we have been talking about today. This is also a call to funders, governments, and foundations. We need your support to make this conference the incredible opportunity we want it to be for accountability and as a catalyst for impact. You will hear more from Women Deliver's Head of External Relations, Masha DeVoe, shortly on how to get involved. Thank you again for being here today, and thank you for taking this journey with us. Thank you, Kristen, for those kind words. Organon is proud to stand with Women Deliver today to formally launch the Women Deliver 2023 conference. At Organon, our vision is to create a better and healthier every day for every woman. When we launched Organon earlier this year, we didn't just launch a company, we launched a commitment, a commitment to listen to women. We know that there is so much more we can do for women and their health. And it all starts by listening to her needs, big and small. We believe that Women Deliver and their 2023 conference is a unique platform that will help us work with the global community to make our vision for women's health a reality. From the global dialogue, through the on-site and online conference in July 2023, we know that we'll be able to listen at scale with stakeholders from around the world. And from there, we can address challenges and identify opportunities to help us improve women's health. Now, as a new company, we have made a strong start in advancing medicines and other products for areas of great unmet need for women. And we look forward to working with all of you to reach our common goals of improving women's health and achieving a gender equal world. Thank you. FHI 360 has been a long time supporter of Women Deliver and the Deliver for Good campaign. We are thrilled to join as an early supporter of the Women Deliver 2023 conference. Across all our practice areas, FHI 360 recognizes how critical it is to convene collective action in support of gender equality and the health and rights of girls and women worldwide. We know that when young girls are not allowed to finish or even attend school, they're forced to get married and, and uh, young and early enforced marriage has been increasing. This severely affects their prospects for better futures. 
This group recognizes that young girls and women need to develop the personal strength and confidence to control and have agency over their reproductive lives. By giving girls and young women more agency to chart their own futures, we improve their lives and prospects as individuals. But we do much more than that because girls and young women realize realizing their full potential and, and making choices for themselves improves the lives of their families and their communities. We know that Women Deliver 2023 will be a platform for collective action, hold our collective feet to the fire. We're excited to be part of that. We're counting down the days. We see you in Kigali. Hello, I'm Allison Tuman Campos from Procter & Gamble. P&G has been a longtime supporter of past Women Deliver conferences, and we are thrilled to support Women Deliver as an early visionary sponsor of WD 2023. At PEG, we aspire to build a better world for all of us, inside and outside of our organization. A world free from gender bias, with equal voice, equal opportunity, and equal representation for all individuals. A world where everyone sees equal. When we do this, economies grow, communities are healthier, businesses can thrive, and the world is a better place for everyone. At PEG, we're focused on three areas where we can have the greatest impact. First, we're leveraging our significant voice in advertising and media to tackle gender bias, to spark conversations, and to motivate change. We're also removing barriers to education for girls and economic opportunities for women through both corporate and brand-led programs, along with our policy advocacy. And we're creating an inclusive gender equal environment within PNG while advocating for gender and intersectional equality in workplaces everywhere so that everyone can contribute to their full potential. From our experience in Copenhagen 2016 and Vancouver 2019, PNG knows that the Women Deliver Conference brings together leaders, advocates, and change makers from around the world. And being part of this community will help us reach our commitments and create even more impact for girls and women. We can't wait to get started. See you in Kigali. Hello, I'm Judy Gitao, the Africa Regional Coordinator for Equality Now. Every day, women and girls around the world face violence and discrimination. This kind of inequality is bad for everyone, not just women and girls. And research shows that where women and girls are treated unfairly, there is more social conflict and less economic stability. At Equality Now, we work towards creating a just world where women and girls have the same rights as men and boys. We tackle the most difficult issues, challenge ingrained cultural assumptions, and call out inequality wherever we see it. Social change often begins with legal change, and so we use the power of the law to create enduring equality for women and girls everywhere. Especially now, we know advocates from across sectors and across the world need to come together to advance gender equality. We need solidarity and we need scale. We see the Women Deliver 2023 conference as a key collective moment, a watershed moment, if you like, to come together as a united force to hold governments, private sector, and societies accountable to change. Today, Equality Now is proud to stand with partners in early support of Women Deliver 2023. See you in Kigali. Hi, everyone. I'm Masha Devo, Senior Manager of External Relations at Women Deliver. Making the Women Deliver 2023 conference a success will take all of us working together. One of the ways your organization can support WD 2023 is through sponsorship. Through the end of the year, we're offering an early pledge opportunity to partners. An early pledge is a trust-based commitment to sponsor the conference, and this sponsorship can come in at any time before July of 2023. When you pledge early, Women Deliver will include your organization's logo on the conference website Invite representatives of your organization to participate in conference planning design in early 2022. Recognize your organization in our one year out event. Offer early selection of sponsorship opportunities and acknowledge your early commitment on our save the date announcement. In order to make the Women Deliver 2022 conference as inclusive and accessible as possible, we are asking government and foundation partners to support the conference through grants. Funder opportunities include supporting the virtual program, the global dialogue, our scholarship program, and much more. If you're interested in this opportunity, we would be happy to customize a grant to meet your priority areas. To sponsor or fund the conference through a grant, 
please reach out to me at sponsorships at womendeliver.org. Thanks, and we can't wait to work with you. Please welcome music guest, Alien Child. Hello, ladies. Hello, we're Alien Child, hailing from Bali, Indonesia, and representing CREATE 2030. Today, we're performing an original song composed and produced by us for this special event called Born, Born to, to Rise. Rise. are changing and they're better than ever don't try to stop us cause we're liking where the arrow is pointing feel like i can deliver what's in my head and i am unstoppable oh, oh. let your mind open wide and we can begin a new day i promise my darling we were born to thrive, yeah, we were born to rise, yeah, yeah, yeah Look into my eyes, no time to second guess, no, maybe La, 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 la Girl, we're thriving La, 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 la Girl, we're thriving You gotta embrace Gotta be brave Listen to all the voices Feel like I can deliver what's in my head And I am unstoppable Let your mind open wide And we can begin a new day I promise my darling ah, We were born to thrive, yeah We were born to rise, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm looking to my eyes, no time to second guess, no maybe Alien Child, thank you. WD 2023 is 18 months away. Get your schedules ready. Here comes a breakdown of how the conference is going to come together. Hi, everyone. I'm Lippy Doshi, Director of Communications at Women Deliver. As Gretchen spoke of earlier, Women Deliver conducted a public survey called the Global Community Consultation in August of 2020 to better understand how participants hope to see the conference catalyze action for gender equality. Each respondent was put into a drawing to win a free registration to Women Deliver 2023, and I'm excited to share the winner's name today. Out of 4,400 participants, the winner is Magueda Esolio. Congratulations, Magueda. We look forward to seeing you at the next Women Deliver conference in July of 2023. Hi everyone, I'm Miriam Khan, the Senior Manager with the Conference Convenings Team here at Women Deliver. I'm so excited to be with you all here today to talk about the countdown to the conference and for ways for you to engage. To give you all an overview of some of what we have in store over the next year, I want to turn it over to the timeline of some of our biggest milestones we have coming up. Launching today, November 2021, we have the official conference launch. 
In the winter of 2021, going into the beginning of 2022, we will begin our conference design sprints with advisory group members, early pledge sponsors and funders, and young leaders. In the spring of 2022, we will be sharing additional details on conference programming, speaking opportunities, and ways for you to get involved. In the summer of 2022, we will have the official WD 2023 One Year Out launch event and conference registration will open. In January of 2023, we will launch the Global Dialogue, hosted by our regional convening partners around the world. And then finally, in July 2023, Women Deliver 2023 will be held in person in Kigali, Rwanda, and virtually on screens around the world. As we kick off our design sprints with our conference advisory group, our team will be heads down, but you will hear from us early spring 2022. We invite you to join us along the way as we build the next Women Deliver conference by visiting wd2023.org for updates and how to stay involved. If you have been following this event from the very beginning, thank you. <laughs> You'll also remember that I asked you to post your questions in the chat. Kathleen Showin, Interim President and CEO of Women Deliver, is now going to answer as many of your questions as she can. Kathleen, are you ready? Yeah. All right, she's ready, she's ready, she's ready. All right, okay, uh, easy one, first of all. What is the theme okay. of WT 2023? What's the theme of the next conference? Okay. That's, that's a good one. There's no theme yet. So the theme is always co-created by all of you. So we're going to be looking at the global consultations. We're going to be looking at the website to see the ideas that you put in. And the advisory group is going to start meeting to think about the theme. So we'll announce the theme after we hear from all of you next summer. So one year out, you'll see the theme. That was an easy right. one. Okay, give me a harder one. EVD. That, that was so easy. Uh, no theme yet. All right. How can individuals and organizations participate in the Women Deliver Conference? Organizations, individuals, what do they need to do? Great. Well, as I said at the beginning, that this conference is for everyone, individuals and organizations. So there's a number of ideas. So first, hope you visit our website today, wd2023.org, and you can get more information about how to join and join the newsletter. That's the best place to get the sort of early information. Um, the other um, opportunities is in the spring, we'll be posting opportunities to apply for a scholarship, to be able to raise your hand to co-create a session. And that's for individuals and for organizations. So we're gonna take a little bit of time to do some early planning in the next few months, but starting in the spring, there'll be quite a few opportunities to participate. I'm gonna squeeze in two more questions. This one, uh, okay. next one is really important for uh, young leaders. Uh, young leaders are asking, will they be supported to attend WD 2023? Of course. So we've committed to all of the young leaders, all 300 in our current class, that all will receive full scholarships to attend the conference in Kigali. Um, so we're really excited to be able to offer that, thanks to our early pledge sponsors and funders. Last question for now, um, and that is just really simply, why Rwanda? Great. Why Rwanda? Well, there's a number of reasons. I mean, I think first, you know, Rwanda really has played a leading role in the COVID response and recovery. Uh, they've achieved near UHC. Um, you know, we've seen uh, a number of frameworks being implemented recently. Uh, the National Strategy for Transformation, Vision 2050, um, our new constitution has 30% um, representation for women and the World Economic Forum ranks them fourth globally and first in Africa for advancing gender equality. So as Minister Basenge said, you know, they've made great progress, but there's still a long way to go. And they're really um, ready to listen and learn and use the conference to be able to make progress. So we're, we're standing by as a champion of that. Thank you so much for your questions, everybody. There'll be more time for you to ask about Women Deliver 2023 in the next 18 months. But Kathleen, the soft launch is almost done. What are your final thoughts? What do you want to leave us with? Okay, thanks, then. And just thanks for giving me a few minutes to wrap up the celebration. I know you've been on for quite a long time. Just want to say thank you to all of our 30 plus speakers who made today possible, including the government of Rwanda, our host country and partner for WD 2023. The journey to WD 2023 is one where we can all walk together. And I know I'm standing here kicking off this journey with all 2,000 of you joining us online and with the help and support of our board chairs, 
current and incoming Kristen and Pumsili, the former ED of UN Women, the current and incoming Women Deliver Board, the Women Deliver staff, the countries of Rwanda, Canada, Colombia, South Africa, and Denmark, the 30 plus organizations of the advisory group, the 32 speakers who joined us this morning for the kickoff, and over 4,500 of you who completed focus groups and surveys to tell us what you wanted from 2023. And there's a lot more to come. And I so appreciate the many of you who attended and supported WD 2019, who are returning to continue to push for a more gender equal world. And that includes DJ Switch and you, Femi, who wonderfully guided us today. And those of you who are new to Women Deliver conferences and seeking a way to engage in the community. We shared a lot today, and this is only the beginning. The advisory group will begin to take feedback from the global community and put forth a structure for WD 2023. The Women Deliver team will be working alongside the advisory group to help implement, and we'll be sharing updates as we go along at WD2023.org, including next year how to get involved with sessions, apply for a scholarship share your knowledge, skills, and capacity with other advocates via our global dialogue. And I know that the regional convening partners and the government of Rwanda will be doing the same. We also shared what will be new, what is different, and what is transformed. And we urge you to keep calling us in where you see we might be do could be doing better and to uphold our commitment to ensuring this feminist space is diverse, accessible, and inclusive. Feminist-centered and civil society places are shrinking, especially ones of global scope and impact. So it's important that we all come together as a feminist movement to galvanize and rearticulate our way forward. We must push back against the pushback, and we must ensure we do everything we can to ensure that, that we do this in a way that shares our power, that lifts all voices and resources and supports all those at the table, including adolescents and youth. WD 2023 will be the world's largest conference on gender equality and the health rights and well-being of girls and women in the 21st century. So we will see you there, and that means everywhere, online, offline, and in Kigali. Back over to you, Femi. Thank you, Kathleen, and thank you for joining the first WD 2023 event. I hope that you'll be part of so many more. We end how we began with the best mood enhancer I know, DJ Switch. Take care. Wow, what an inspirational 90 minutes this has been. And I can't wait to see you all in Kigali. Thanks again to everyone for joining me. And a special shout out to the young leaders who have joined us today and will join us again in the Women Deliver 2023. This is our moment to have our voices heard. Switch up.